Towards the end, it, it was just it was just locked up and and just nobody ever went in it and uh, and all the lights were out and it was, nobody ever thought about it and it was the walls were sort of four foot thick you know it's, I'd, I'd say it took nine to twelve months to demolish the actual building I think what they was doing they were demolishing by a side of the building and then they was sorting out all the cast iron uh, window frames and everything and putting all that to one side and then they had uh, two or three chaps were uh, cleaning all the bricks and a lot of the bricks were, were stacked up and then they were, went out with, where they went we don't know. The workmanship in there was it, it just took your breath away, you know. I mean, they had cast iron doors, and I mean, you, they, they'd just swing on their hinges like that, and they, they wouldn't, you couldn't even get a fake paper in between the joint. It was just absolutely perfect. They, they had what they called a flag loft, and, uh, and along one wall was just these pigeonholes, and it was all made you know, wasn't they made by hand? Everything was not machine made, made, and it was perfect at whole where all the flags were, you know, for the navy and everything. And it was just, it was just all smashed up and just gone. It overwhelmed me, really. Yes, enormous, enormous strength on on the because I told my father, and he said, you know, well, you. It was huge. You could get anything from a battleship to a, <laughs> a needle. Yeah. It must have been, when it was fully functional, magnificent, really and truly magnificent building. There seemed to be a lot of um, big buildings everywhere, but it was quite imposing, yes, a, a big big structure. I think when everybody heard that it was going to be demolished, I think Quite a few people were sad about it. Um, the last time I went down there, before it came down, it uh, was very, seemed very empty. Uh, the big iron stanchions, it reminded me actually of um, a large train station. <laughs> when I first started, I was 16. Um, and I was fresh faced and new to everything. When it was poppy day, they presented me with a big box of poppies and said, off you go, <laughs> go and sell them. So, so I did, I went around all the buildings in the dockyard, just on my own, uh, discovering things. And uh, that's the first time I went into the quadrangle when I was 16. I, I think the ministry gave permission in 78 for the quadrangle to be demolished. I think it was a sturdy enough building to withstand anything there really. People in the office used to talk about what an incredible building it was. We just called it the quad, but a warehouse was the quadrangle and it had spirits in there, it had barrels in there and they were in the, the vaults underneath. So if a ship would come in once a month, pump sherry into big vats. One of the things that we were told was that they were pulling it down and they were allowed to do that on condition that they restored some of the other buildings, but I don't think they ever did.